I think we got an approximate value of this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good morning guys, I'm still in Greece and I have some pretty exciting news. I've received permission to search Kamari Beach with my underwater metal detector. Always ask for permission from the local authorities before using your metal detector to avoid getting yourself into trouble. Alright, let's gear up, hop into the water and see what we can find. Mm-hmm. 
Hey guys, I just got out of the water. I'm with my friend Lena. I'm very excited to report I found almost zero trash today. The water is very clean here, which is always a good thing. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll start with this because I saw it with my eyes. I didn't metal detect it. But it's a another bracelet like I found down in a Moody Bay, right? Yes. It looks pretty similar to that. Another cool bracelet that was just kind of sticking out. Just the string was kind of sticking out like that. I saw it. I pulled in and I grabbed it and I found it. And I think the estimated value of that is $10. Next we'll go to the trash targets which were very few. Just a little rusty nail, one pull tab, I usually find like 10 of those at least. A little aluminum piece, another aluminum piece and a rusty pipe jake said this was, right? Yeah. So this is all the trash I found in like six hours which is amazing. Yeah. Next we have uh, our two little sinkers there. We noticed right now the sun, um, as soon as the lifeguards went away, everyone started fishing from the shore, so... <laughs> I guess that's where they come from, huh? Yeah. We have two euros there, and these three euros were within like inches of each other. Whoever dropped these had them all in their pocket or something. They were. I'm pretty sure they were from the same person. Yeah. Yeah, they had to be. They were all next to each other. That was cool. So I have five euros. A little penny. Euro penny, euro cent. This is a piece of a watch. Someone lost their watch piece. Right, Lena? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, a link. It's definitely like a Rolex link. <laughs> oh yeah, estimated value $20,000. <laughs> Just for the link. Just for the link. It's custom link. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's made out of. I'm gonna have to test it, but it's probably silver or stainless. Steel. Stainless steel. Now Lena here is going to do the big reveal. Baby. We found two rings today. This one is with Opal. I'm not sure if it's focusing, but I'll get better footage with the bigger camera. I only have the GoPro right now. It's an Opal ring. It has two Omega stamps 
inside of it with the numbers 38, which we're not sure what that means. We're gonna have to do a little more research. And then this bad boy, hey, <laughs> is a nice big ring. It looks to be gold. I feel like it says 18 on the inside. I see a 1-8, but Lena and Jake I think it only says eight, which I'm not sure what it means because I don't think there's eight karat gold. No, I don't think so. There is eight karat, but that could be the size. Oh, yeah, maybe there it's is a eight size carat. eight. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's a size eight. But I thought it's a, I thought it said 18. I'll get a closer up of it if I could. I'm sure the GoPro's not focusing. But it's beautiful. It's so beautiful, though. It's it actually looks good on me. It's a little big, but let me show you. Look at that. Oh. It's big though. If I wear it, it's gonna fall off. Yeah. It is so nice though. Do you think that's a real diamond? I hope so. You worked so hard today. I really hope it is. <laughs> Six hours. Six hours. Yeah. Tonight, we're gonna go on an adventure. We're gonna go to some of the side shops that we suspect might carry either one of the rings because they look very new. Yes. And hopefully we can let you guys know how much you'll go for these cars. Yes. So yeah, we're gonna go home, go shower, go out to dinner, and after that we'll circle the shops to see if we can find any of these rings in there and see what their value is. I think we got an approximate value of this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, $10. <laughs> but I think yours might be worth more because... Is there a stamp on that one? No, it's not. It's not stamped. So I think your ring is worth at least $10. At so least. This is blue opal. Greek key. That's kind of what it looks similar. like. Yeah. yeah. It looks very similar. But yours might be a real thing. This yeah. might be a fake. But I think... Blue Lab, Opal, Greek Key, Firing, 925 Sterling, 5 through 10. So my friends just played me. No, we did not play you. You asked if it was worth one dollar and we said... He said it's worth a lot more than one dollar. <laughs> ten <laughs> times ten, more than a dollar. Ten dollars. <laughs> At least. At least. At least. But we still have hope. We still have hope for the big find, right? Yeah. It might be stamped 315. What's 315? Oh, I see that. It kind of does look like it, doesn't it? Yeah. What's 315 mean? Oh, the 315 could be the total weight, 31.5%. Um, oh, wow. So you just saw that the ring says, 315, so it could be real gold. Could no be. way. Could be. It could be. It, it feels like it really 3 good. 315, yeah. Because I know I found a gold bracelet once in Bermuda and it was stamped 333, and I did some research and that was gold. Hmm. It's like a different, you know, like how we have 10 karat, 14 karat, 18 karat. Like in Europe, sometimes they, they mark it differently with different numbers, like 333. I haven't heard of 315, but... But this is that from... That could be the weight of the stone or the weight of the ring. That's so cool. Are you like feeling so optimistic now? Yeah, and I want to find out what this is. Yes, there's still more research to come tonight. We're gonna go out to the local shops and see if we can find a match. Because that's what happened with the leather bracelet. Yes. Are you excited? I am. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned, y'all. So they're both non magnetic. Which is good news. Which is good news because it could be gold. Or plastic. Or plastic. You never know. <laughs> Check that out. It's very similar, not identical, but 
very similar rings. This is also 925 silver. This one, I'm not sure it's not stamped, but it looks pretty identical and it's 20 euros for this one. So, I think I might have found a 20 euro ring. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm still gonna try it. Maybe it is like yeah. Almost like it's summer. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, this is Lena and Nora. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> found a few good things. <laughs> found a few things, but they're all amazing. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And <laughs> we will see you later. Bye. <laughs>